Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we are taking a look at the current Cyclonus figure from the Kingdom line. And this is a fantastic figure. This is absolutely wonderful. Uh, this is probably the best figure outside of Studio, Studio Series Grimlock that Hasbro has put out recently. Um, or at least in the Kingdom line that I've purchased. Uh, this, it's great. It's a really fun transformation. Uh, I don't show transformation here on this channel. Obviously, I want you to try to figure that out on your own. But as far as the steps are, this is so well done that it almost feels like it belongs in a different line. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. I do have the landing gear out here, of course. Uh, it is not perfect. I can't get these parts to sit flush no matter how much I try. But otherwise, it's nice and sleek. Um, you will see here a couple stress marks. I need to sand down the tab that connects these pieces here. But, I mean, it's just absolutely fabulous. As you take a look on the other side, you can see how the legs and arms go. Uh, how you get the head out is actually a lot of fun. It's not at all like his figure from a few years back. Sorry, some instructions popped out there. But overall, this piece is fantastic. Um, just a couple little things that... Of course, being a vehicle mode doesn't really have articulation as such, but the landing gear <coughs> do, of course, move. And a nice little feature, due to how this transforms, you do get wing bends, so you can kind of, like, pretend like if it's in atmosphere, this is going up and down to try to give a balance of power. And just look at how beautiful that is. It is a decent size here. Um, don't really have anything out currently. To show you a size comparison with in vehicle mode. Um, oh, you know what? I was about to put this on eBay. So just to show you how he compares. He's got a good double length than this. And it's mostly nose cone. But again, this figure is fantastic. If you are collecting the 86 figures, uh, 86 movie figures, that is. Even though he's not studio series. He really belongs in that line. Um, again, great figure. I'm going to go ahead and hit pause and show you the robot mode. Real quick, um, and then I'll show you the robot mode. While transforming, there's two things I want to talk about. First off, getting the nose cone out. I don't know if it's because I have no fingernails or what, but i got to usually get in there and really pry that out. It does sit tight, as you can see. The other thing I want to talk about, and I mentioned this in the robot review, um, I mean, the vehicle rope review, you see the struck mark there. It's really starting to stress mark out there. So, yeah, really, you're going to want to sand that part down. And here we have him in his robot mode. As you can see here, he does look quite nice. He does have that lovely purple uh, coloring that was the same in the flight mode. And he does look tremendously well. I do like him a lot better than the Universe 2.0 or Generations figure from a couple years ago. He definitely has much more stature, much more poise, um, and he looks good. He doesn't look weird. You can't really see all the folding bits. Let's go ahead and bring him just a little bit closer. Uh, take a look here. Put the gun down. Now, as with vehicle mode, there was one issue I had. Um, this gun, as you can see, is a there was a lot of extra gray paint, but as I've used him and transformed him, it's chipped off. As far as weapon storage goes, it can plug in the back just like in vehicle mode. So, nothing big. I'm just going to put that down to the side for now. Let's go ahead and just take a look at him otherwise. Uh, one cool thing. He's got light piping. Um, and it's really hard to show you just how beautiful this light piping is without going to take a look in the light. And as you can see, he even has, like, little pupils. He is fantastic. Putting that little bit of light back there just makes him just pop. As you saw my bookshelf there as I landed. And hopefully not too much of my disaster of a room at the moment. So let's just go ahead and we'll take a look at articulation. Now the head can go up, down, left, right. It can turn. It is on a ball joint. Arms. They can go out pretty far because it's got that cool little joint here. Elbow, you do get just over 90 degrees. Does not go back at all. You do get upper arm rotation. 
you get hand rotation. You have no idea how happy that makes me. That has been lacking in most Hasbro figures lately. Uh, let's see, you do get waist rotation. He can go all the way around. Leg can only go about that far. And it can only go about that far. You do get knee bend. Now with this, because of how this transforms, you can actually give him additional height too. Though it does look a little bit ridiculous and of course has some cool gaps. Uh, feet, <clears throat> you can go forward about that far. And then you do get ankle tilt, which is restricted by the uh, pant legs. Other than that, I mean, this is a great figure. I do really dig this figure. This is probably one of the best figures I've seen Hasbro and Takara do in a long time, especially for the price point. And, oops, I guess I never fixed the ankle tilt when I was putting the stand back up. But as you can see, uh, he is just fantastic. And my only real gripe is I wish he was bigger because Cyclonus is supposed to be huge. But I'm still happy with it. This this figure looks good. It looks good with other characters next to it. He definitely is imposing. And the light piping really, really works considering that they detail it on pupils. So if you like evil glowing red eyes at you at night, he's definitely worth having. And just to show you his size, here he is with... A thrilling 30 Whirl, who does not like standing. Come on, Whirl. Yeah. Just so you can have your last, last like crew back together. He is about a head taller than Whirl. But overall, this is a great figure. If you haven't picked it up, I highly recommend doing so. As this is absolutely wonderful. And it's going to look good with your 86 crew. Whether you're going to collect that whole crew or not between the two different lines right now. So uh, again, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please comment down below. Tell me what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want to see. Please subscribe. And again, thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of your day.